we have to know that still Africans are not happy for many atrocities that our ancestors has done against them but upon that they are very very happy when they see white people and when they see that white people love their country and adapt to their country and hello guys kings and queens welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm gonna react about this video of uh i come across a video of a white lady uh who was saying black people are good people i came a video of a white lady who was calling out um harass uh because of the issue of racist uh racism racism is an issue okay and uh she had lived in uh, nigeria and uh, she was saying that she has never experienced racist attack she has never experienced uh racism while she has never experienced discrimination while living in Nigeria. Now, she was just giving her opinion and she was calling out her arrest that you have to follow the way of the black people. You have to follow the heart of the black people. It's rare. It's rare. So let's watch this video and then we're going to react about it. Somebody asked me if I have experienced racism since I'm living in Nigeria. No, I have never experienced racism. I have never experienced something that it shows that they are not welcoming me here or that they, they are not happy with me being around them this is one example that we white we should take and i know that racism is something that the new generation is trying to eradicate because it's not good doesn't take us anywhere and doesn't give us any uh, reason of believing that any race is superior to another whatever is happening between black race and white race is because of our ancestors we have to tell ourselves the truth about that we have to know that still africans are not happy for many atrocities that our ancestors has done against them but upon that they are very very happy when they see white people and when they see that white people love their country and adapt to their country and also marry their people it's not everybody that must marry a different race or marry outcast we have to understand we white marry white black marry black uh, Chinese marry Chinese, Indian marry Indian, and South America marry South American. So it is not a must that we have to be mixed races, but always remember black people are never racist. The only thing that they can be is being prejudiced by the past of their history please be kind remember that we are humans we are not here to live forever we are here to live our life in peace and harmony black people and white people we say that together sometimes we have the same blood you know but between these two people there is one who normally see other as a you know, I, I am above you in the time of uh, economy, in the time of technology, in the time of everything. And that's the white. But this white lady has stayed and lived in Nigeria for, for some time, but she has never experienced something like racism or something like discrimination. And let me tell you for a fact, in Africa, we never, we don't discriminate uh, white people. But we have a problem of, you know, like among us, among us, ourselves you may find someone is darker than you so you have a problem with that like see how dark you are <laughs> that's how uh, uh, the world is when we see white people we cheer them we celebrate we love them we don't discriminate the, them but when we see another black brother with little less complex or more you know you become 
colorism. It's called colorism. But generally, Africans don't discriminate white people. It's not that we we are that good. <laughs> it's because the systematic way how our mind was programmed and we were brainwashed, we automatically knew that white people are superior. In our mind, how it was systemed, we automatically knew that white people are better than black people. So whenever we see them, we see them as small gods. Whenever we see white men or white women on the street, we see them as some people who are different. And it's a good thing because that's how white people need to see us too. When you see a black person, you need to see a black person as someone who is unique, someone who is different meant by God, someone who is beautiful. As we see you, you know, black, most of black people see white people very beautiful. Even now you ask on the street, just young men, who am I going, who are, we do not marry, to marry a black and a white woman. Who will you choose? Yeah. Most of them will choose white, white, white. They are saying white is so beautiful, you know. <laughs> so that's how our mind is being programmed as black people to see white are more beautiful, white are more intelligent, white are more this, white are more this than black people. But deep down, we don't have even that heart of discriminating or having racial attack. It's very hard for a black person here in Africa to call racial names to a white person. Like, we see you good. White people are awesome. So it's how our mind is being positioned to think, how we are being, uh, it's being systemized, how it's being computerized. It's like our mind already was programmed to accept the fact that black or white people are the best than black people. Our mind was already programmed to accept or to have the fact that white people are always the best. See, example, the issue of black and white Jesus. It's very hard for you to tell a black person, now worship a black Jesus. Very, very hard because we are, it's programmed. White. White for God. Black for what? Black for devil. White for God. Black for devil. White collar job. Black jobs. Black market. White market. White meat. Black meat. White pepper. Black pepper. Age. So white is associated with something good, while black is not associated with something good here in Africa. So, no any African, no any white man or white woman has ever come to Africa and claim that I have been discriminated because we don't do that. We don't do that. But the fact that this white lady has called out her race to follow the steps of black people, I agree. You should follow the steps of black people as white people because I believe that if we had a racist attack towards white people, they cannot handle it because it's, it's awkward. Like, even white people in South Africa, there's a video where white people were homeless and black people were like, no, 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 no. Seeing a homeless white man or white lady, white child, it pains me a lot. So we, it's, it's, it's hard. But our black people doesn't have discrimination or doesn't have the racism because we are the home of humankind. We are the original of humankind, origin. We are the mother of humankind. So every species that come out, either Arab, concussion, white, either each species that come out that we see in the face of the world, it was being originated from, from black species. So Black people are the mothers. So they, that's why they can't hate. That's why they can't discriminate. That's why they just sit with everyone, you know? Yeah, that, 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 that's how I feel. This is my opinion, by the way. I'm saying just my opinion. 
according to a uh, video of this lady that uh, she has never been uh, discriminated, uh, racially discriminated in Nigeria. The only thing that we have as black people is maybe anger at some things that happened those days. That's what uh, most of black people carry from one generation to another. Whenever you hear what your ancestors passed through, you get angry. But all in all, we don't have discrimination. We don't have racial. We are trying as a nation. And that's why we are calling out all the black people to join hands. Let's show the world that we are not the problem. You know, every time we are being called, we are the problem. But let's show the world that we are not the problem as black people. Okay, so tell me in the comment section what do you think about this video uh, about um, this lady, what she was saying about uh, Nigeria, about uh, black people, about uh, not being discriminated. She was praising black people. Tell me what you think on the comment section. Until next video, peace be with you.